Hey there, Sharon Hornelson here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case you haven't met yet, go ahead and put a hashtag pajama in the comments below so I know it's the first time you're being exposed to Pajama Grandma. Today I want to talk about and get your input on different ways of finding customers to supersize your business. Now, I'm working on a women's summit. It's going live next week, soft launch next week, big launch in three weeks because I want to spend a couple of weeks promoting it, but I want to make sure all the bugs are worked out of it and that everything goes smoothly next week. And I committed to myself that I would do it next week live. So I'm going to launch it next week. And then again, I want to spend a couple weeks promoting it to give it its fair share of publicity and information so that the right women can get there and actually encounter it because the, the speakers and the interviews have been absolutely phenomenal. The topic of this women's summit is all about customers. So my brain is all in customer mode. So over the next couple of days, I want to talk about the best ways offline and online, comparing offline and online strategies to, and and I think the importance of using both. Depends on your business, but I really think that you don't wanna go one or the other, and I'll share some of the reasons why in a minute. But how you find those customers, how you get those customers and attract them, how you make sure they have an awesome experience, how you continue to serve them in ways that delight them and want them to stay with you forever. So we're gonna talk about those and break it down over the next few days. So first off, offline ways of finding customers versus online ways of finding customers. And I, of course, in true Sharon fashion, made myself a little note card to remind myself, but I need to take a drink of coffee and grab my magnifying glass because I can write stuff down, but I can't see it. So I need to use whatever tools are necessary. That's a lesson in and of itself. Do what you gotta do to create the results that you want. Me, I gotta use a magnifying glass. So offline, let's think of some of the ways that traditionally offline in the real world, we find customers. Well, do you remember the days of the yellow pages? The yellow pages have been replaced online with directories. There are directories online for absolutely anything and everything you can possibly imagine. Google online or one of the other search engines, Bing or Yahoo or whoever else is still around, there's actually specific search engines for different industries and different businesses. And they're all out there. The world and information and finding who we want to work with is the least of our worries. It's it's easy to find millions of people that have similar interests. They're grouped together thanks to the internet. So all of the legwork and research and things that you used to have to do, buying lists and doing things, and you can still buy lists today. You can buy them online. But you can still buy them to get context of people with specific interests or specifically um, different characteristics that you think would make them better clients or customers for your particular product or service. So, you know, almost everything that existed offline as a means of finding customers has an online component nowadays. And the advantage of the online component is often it's much less expensive and much quicker to find people and to reach them than the old traditional ways. Remember when you used to have to run magazine or newspaper ads? Well, now there's blogs and there's social media groups where people actually congregate together and you can find those people. You can advertise instead of in newspapers and magazines on e-zines and blogs and people's newsletters and all kinds of electronic ways of delivering those messages. Direct mail, still really effective today, <clears throat> has been replaced by email. Email is getting less effective than it was. So what if you do a campaign that combines the two? incredibly powerful. Emails and messenger bots, I kind of group them together because that's a, a written way of communicating. Um, and again, messenger bots have only been around or have only been used mainstream for like within the last year. I remember last year about this time and maybe a month or two down the road is when I was starting to hear about and getting involved in understanding the power of messenger bots. Um, television, television, is huge, but it's still very, very expensive and out of most people's reach. But anybody can pick up their cell phone or borrow a cell phone or a video camera and make a live video on a lot of different platforms. Facebook Live, Instagram, LinkedIn now offers video, almost every platform. And again, there's specific social media platforms that are more or less important depending on what type of business you're in or what industry you're in. Cold calling still exists today and I'm, I'm not sure, I guess e email and you can actually call and do text and voice messaging 
on the computer now. Um, so again, both, both still very effective. High ticket sales, you need to change the touch. You need to change the way that you interact with people. And so you have to almost take things offline and start talking to people on the phone, getting them to call and apply to, you, to work with you. Um, door knocking and flyers and signs and billboards have <clears throat> still exist today. Again, knife salesmen, knife salesmen still go around door to door. I can't believe that. Um, and pest control and things like that. People still have huge networks of people that they send out door knocking to actually try to sell their products and services. But banner ads and flyers and advertising on different social media platforms and in people's blogs and things have um become a complement or a replacement for a lot of those. And again, it's a lot less expensive to run, well, maybe it's not a less expensive to run a banner and it depends where you're running it than it is to get a billboard. Um, in my area, the average billboard, and I'm in a really small town, is $6,000 a month. That's a lot of money for most people. Networking events was, is, and were a very effective way to find customers and clients for your particular business products and services. Now those are being replaced and supplemented with online webinars, online training programs, membership sites, um, summits. I'm doing a woman's summit right now and that's replacing me having to go out and attend a bunch of networking events because you know there's not very many networking events you can attend in your robe or your bath or your pajamas. So I had a great conversation with one of the women I was interviewing for the Women's Summit yesterday about the importance and the power of combining these offline and online strategies to supersize and grow your business. You can, you, people in the online world believe you can just do online and never have to talk to people. And that's a little bit scary. That's a little bit horrifying because bottom line, business is always about relationships. We do business with people we know, like, and trust. We do business with people like us. We do business with people we want to do business with. All buying decisions are based on emotion and connection. And if you don't find ways to connect with people emotionally, you're never going to have the sales that you want. You're never going to create the business that you want unless you find a way to do that. And that is best served by combining the old school offline ways of delivering messages and reaching people and connecting with them with the power of the internet and the online virtual ways of doing that because it saves you money. It saves you time. It helps you find and filter out the people that you want to have those conversations with. So, that's, I would love to have you weigh in. I've, I've really started this out because I wanted to ask, what is your favorite social media platform for connecting with your clients or your customers or your audience? I wanted to ask that question and then I thought, you know, this subject is way bigger than that. And then my other thing about finding customers is Google is your best friend. The search engines are your best friend. The different industry directories, there's no shortage of finding who you can serve and whose problems you can solve with your product or service. Whatever it is, there is a market out there for you. All right, I'll catch you tomorrow.